Hello beautiful souls of light. Today, as you can see, it seems to be light and bright in here, which is beautiful. It's a nice, wonderful morning here, just before Tom's family is about to show up to enjoy the day together. Um, so I really just wanted to share today's lesson, um, as I feel there's so much that is kind of opening up within me, and uh, these last few days have been quite intense for me to look at my thoughts in regards to my relationship with computers specifically, and I know this has been a theme for me, so this is showing me that I have yet to fully receive correction in my mind in this area, and yet my willingness to do so is expanding more every day, and I'm feeling that I'm almost being brought to the point to be able to share it fully with all of you, um, because I know that you know when I'm going through it, um, it's there's still like a lot of confusion until I move out of you know move out of it and and onto the other side of the Holy Spirit which is where the correction is which is where the gift is and it's ultimately the gift that I want to give you guys and not just my ideas on it so I know that there's a video coming soon to be able to express what I'm going through and even to every time I express it I find I bring more clarity to me. It's like I'm giving the gift to myself to to show me that I have accepted and received because I'm giving it. You know, there's a law again, give as you would receive. So I'm just kind of sitting with all of this and, and who knows what's going to come up later tonight. Um, but I'm just leaving it in the Holy Spirit's hands. So. You know, with that being said, today's lesson is divinely perfect. You know, it is uh, lesson 314 here. I seek a future different from the past. I seek a future different from the past. And even if it is in just this small area for me, that seems to be the cycle that I'm repeating. I don't want to be repeating the cycle anymore. I don't want to be, you know, living these, you know, moments in, in doubt and, and thus in lack of faith because my faith is split partially on my thoughts about this world and partially on my thoughts with God. And that split juncture right there is what leads us straight to pain and frustration and annoyance and anger and all of that stuff. And all of that stuff is literally just the defense, the defense against the truth, the defense for us to look at our thoughts, the defense for us to let go of, of our split goal and accept the full united goal with God. So. I have to keep being reminded that this is what A Course in Miracles is for, you know? The Course in Miracles is for correction of our mind. It is for us to bring up all this bullshit that we've been holding on to and repeating from the past and projecting into the future and to let it all go um, so that we truly can rest forever in the now, which is where God is and where we are. So it truly is a lot more than just, you know, being able to have a good concept of it in our mind, but it moves down to the, the actual experience of it. So I'm doing the very best I can to practice what I preach every day day and learn the lessons that are given to me when they're given to me and so a lesson has been given to me and so I'm ready to learn it and so let's let today's lesson kind of uh, fully integrate you know the lessons that we're currently receiving to 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 forgive um, um, to be even more understood with today's lesson so 314 I seek a future different from the past yes I do From new perception of the world, there comes a future very different from the past. The future now is recognized as but extension of the present. Past mistakes can cast no shadows on it, for that fear has lost its idols and its images, and being formless, it has no effect. Death will not claim the future now, for life is now its goal, and all the needed means are happily provided. Who can grieve or suffer when the present has been freed, extending its security and peace into a quiet future filled with joy? Beautiful. <laughs> And so we are realizing here that from a new perception, which is ultimately the correction that the Holy Spirit gives us, from a new perception of the world, there comes a future very different from the past. So when we receive a correction in the now, it undoes the past and extends a wholly new future into our future experience. 
The future is now recognized as but extension from the present. So no longer is the future just a repeat of the past where we constantly go into the cycle day after day, week after week, month after month. But when we receive the correction in the now, we undo the past and leave the past in the past where it is. It no longer comes with us like this baggage on our back. And we no longer project it into the future as what the patterns are that we repeat in the future. But the past is freed, the future is not yet here, and we remain fully in the present. So the future is now an extension of the present love of God. This is what we want, to, to allow our future to extend from now, which is where we are, where our power is, where our joy is, and allow that to be extended into our future, you know, where constant co-creation is. So our past mistakes can cast no shadows on our future, so that fear has lost its idols and its images, and being formless, it has no effects. So in this release from the past, fear has nothing to hold on to anymore. It has no idols, it has no images, it has no goals, it has nothing that it wants, and so it is formless. And being formless, it has no effects. So once we recognize that there's nothing that ego offers us that we want, there's no idol that we want to you know, reach for, there is no image that we want our body or our world to become like. There is, you know, nothing in the form of comparison. And once it becomes formless, there are no effects. There are no effects of our past thoughts onto our present or our future because we've let them be undone in our mind. I think first and foremost, we're recognizing today that this is what we want. That we want the correction to free us from the past and to release our future. We no longer want to be carrying idols or images or goals in our mind that are separate from God. Because all of those old idols, images, and goals are what brings us pain, are what makes us repeat the cycle of the past in our relationships, in, in our, our life, in our money situation, in our job situation, etc., etc., etc. Everything gets repeated when we still hold on to the past. Free the past, it's gone. Extension from the present. <clears throat> and so to continue forward, it's saying death will not claim the future now, for life is now its goal, and all that needed means are happily provided. So when we are basing our life on the past and it's being projected in the future and we're having those cyclical experiences, the constant you know, cycles of repeating our, our arguments, etc., um, it is because we are identifying partially with the body and partially with God. When we identify partially with the body, we are identifying with death because the only goal that the body has is to eventually die. And so the ego wraps its fear around us in being afraid of death, being afraid of lack, being afraid of sickness, being afraid of everything and everyone outside of us, so its goal is always death. But we are recognizing that when we accept the correction in the present, that death is no longer our aim, because life is. Eternal life is our goal. And this is the goal of Jesus, and he, he even shared with us that his one goal was God, and that was his only goal. That was the only thing that consumed his mind was God. He wasn't split, thinking he was man and son of God. He knew he was son of God. And this is what the correction is given us within, a freedom of the past identifications with body. So we accept fully what we are in the present, and that extends into the future, and it literally brings to us all of our needs being provided for, all of them. And this is when we step into the space of being abundant, hence why Jesus was able to bring forward the bread and, and the fish and, and the wine and all of this stuff was because he was here to demonstrate the abundance of God and to allow himself an opportunity to join with his brothers in their prayer, in their asking, and realize their prayer and their asking is his own. And together we can join in asking our Father to give us the gifts that he has already given us, the gifts of life, the gifts of abundance, the gifts of completion, the gifts of happiness. They are already been given us for us to accept now, which release us from the future. And so it even says in this final question, which allows us to sit with it, who can grieve or suffer when the present has, when the present has been freed, extending its security and peace into a quiet future filled with joy? Exactly. So who can grieve or suffer when the present has been freed? When we take whatever we are experiencing, whatever cycle we are repeating, and sit with it in the present now moment and ask for correction, the correction is received. 
This has been given me in every other area of my life, in relationships, in money, in body, in form, in houses, in job, in everything. I've done this, so I've experienced this. I know what it is like. And yet now I'm having my last hooks <laughs> that are hooking on to me that are keeping me in doubt and in this world. I am responsible for that, nobody else. So we are all responsible for looking at every single one of those hookups that, that we, we keep ourselves caught on, that, that prevent us from recognizing that there is a present joy, there is a present correction that will release us from all the suffering and grievances, will release us from all this pain and confusion, and truly allow this freedom that happens in the present to be extended as safety and security and peace into a quiet future filled with joy. This is what happens in receiving the correction now. This is what I want. This is what I want all of the world to experience together. And we will experience this together the instant we get to the point of rendering our past habits and beliefs and thoughts and conclusions useless. They are useless to me. They only bring me pain. And in the recognition that they are useless, we open to the present moment now and receive the gifts of healing our, our perception, inner mind correction. So let's conclude here with our beautiful prayer, shall we? Father, we were mistaken in the past and choose to use the present to be free. Now do we leave the future in your hands, leaving behind our past mistakes, ensure that you will keep your present promises and guide the future in their holy light. This is the place to be where it's good to be wrong. If we're in pain and fear, we want to be wrong. We want to be mistaken. Because being wrong and being mistaken about our current experience means that we can open to how God sees our present experience and what it, what it all means according to God's will according to his vision, the holy vision of Christ that can be given us now. And this new vision can be the choice that we make to free us from the present. I've made a mistake. I'm wrong in how I'm seeing it. I'm not at peace, so I'm open to the correction now. It is here when we leave the future in the hands of God and we leave behind our past mistakes ensure confidence that our Father will keep his present promises and guide us into the future with his holy light. And this is why faith is so important here. But our mind that we share with him is perfect faith. Perfect faith. If we don't have perfect faith at this time, it is because our mind is split, partially on this world and partially on God. We have to unify our minds. So we can come back to that perfect faith where we truly are and let this faith guide us into our future, guided by the holy light of love to show us a completely different world than the one that we had experienced in the past. This can be done. This is here for all of us to experience in together today. So I seek a future different from the past. I seek a future different from the past. And I do. I seek a future different from the past. And so I join you all here, beautiful souls, that we may learn and experience this together. I love you all. Bye.